as corny as that sounds. So first I wanted to just say what happened this weekend. So I got this this weekend. Hopefully it will um, focus. So that's exciting. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know when I make a new video. Oh my god, I can't believe I just freaking forgot what that was. Okay, anyways, today is Monday, February 1st. Um, it is a new month. It is a Monday. I have goals for the week. I have goals for the month. What kind of goals do you have set for this month? Remember, it is a fresh start to the week, to the month. So you have all, you have the whole month. Okay, so February is a little short, it's 28 days. But you have this whole month to plan out something. So what goals do you have? Let me know in the comments. But um, I actually wanted to start this video out with like doing a little um, comment shout out. I guess you could say. I have two people who I want to shout out on my video because honestly, they're just the best, okay? So the first one is the video that I uploaded yesterday. If you missed that, I'll leave it above, but it's a little chat with me video. I talk about life and I talk about um, a little bit about manifestation and um, just being more open to the universe. Um, but I wanted to shout out, oh, let me find. Claire. So Claire had commented on the video and she said that she definitely needed this talk and that she needed to remember to let the universe figure things out for her. So that I am so grateful for you, Claire. Thank you for saying that because it just gives me a little reassurance that these are the types of videos that I want to make because people are actually people are actually enjoying them and are getting some insight on them. So thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. The next comment that I want to shout out is, it's called, there's no name, but um, Mediocre at Best is the YouTube channel. So um, this person commented, you are insanely underrated, love this kind of content, always inspires me. So thank you for that. I wish I knew your name, um, but thank you for that. And um, thank you for leaving a comment for those who actually comment and give me feedback because literally I make these videos not only for myself, but like for you. I share my struggles, I share my life like with you so that it can help you in one way or another. Um, so thank you and we'll get on to the video now. The video is going to be it's february it is the hallmark channel holiday it is love as corny as that sounds so first i wanted to just say what happened this weekend i got this this weekend hopefully it will um focus so that's exciting um I got it Friday, so you know, I'm just elated. I'm just so happy. Um, and how perfect, or how corny, I guess, however you wanna look at it, um, that I got it for the month of February. But um, it just, it was just, it's just perfect, okay? I just, I can't help it. And it matches my necklace that I always wear. I don't actually know if you guys honestly pay attention, but I wear this necklace like all the time. And it literally, like, the band matches it. I don't know if you can see. But it's got, like, the little twisty thing. Um, yeah. So, enough, of that, enough about that. This month, I wanted to kind of um, mix a little bit of our podcast with the videos that I want to share. So, um, today's video is going to be all about self-love. I talk about it all the time. And more so about yourself. So um, we're gonna post this episode on Wednesday. So if you wanna listen to what me and Monique have to say about self-love and loving yourself, um, go give that a listen. I mean, I feel myself. <laughs> I feel myself all day, every day. 
No. <laughs> But today I wanted to kind of like share with you my personal journey with self-love and how I kind of like overcame it because I briefly talked about it in the episode but I haven't, I never actually like, I don't know, like I talked about it a little bit but not like to the extreme so I wanted to talk about it a lot here. So with me personally like with all of my relationships that i've had up until obviously the one that i'm in now um that they've just been kind of based off of me not loving myself so for example my first relationship was in high school and obviously like I don't know about you but like for me personally I didn't love myself um I thought I did or I th thought that like self-love was to be with someone and that they had to give me the love that I needed to feel but in reality like now that I'm an adult I'm like thinking back and I'm just I'm thinking that like that's not how it's supposed to be like you're supposed to love yourself so i really can't stress enough that like when you are in high school when you are starting relationships with boys or girls or whoever's listening um that you have to find yourself first before you can find love in another person and i and i don't say that as like a cliche little like um quote I say that because that's what happened to me was that I started a relationship with my high school boyfriend and I I didn't know what love was. I didn't know that I had to love myself first because if I did, I feel like maybe things would be different, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not saying that I want to go back either. Like, but you know what I mean? It's just like just the stuff that you learn. So we had those little like high school fights where if he, I, I guess back then we had AIM and we had MySpace, so we didn't even have like Instagram or anything. But if he put like a girl's name like in his profile, like I would be upset because like I'm his girlfriend and I should be there, which understandably I should be. But when you're in high school, there's so many different emotions going through and you know you you can have friends that are girls or boys the opposite sex um but it shouldn't be it's hard to explain so it should not be like that it shouldn't be that you're trying to get your girlfriend jealous or that you are trying to seek out someone else when you are in a long-term relationship so my high school relationship wasn't just like a like a month here and like a like a half a year here or a year or whatever like we dated from literally eighth grade up until i was 21. so it was a pretty serious relationship if you ask me and it wasn't until i was 21 that i realized that one there are other people out there that are different that are going to treat you differently and it wasn't until then that I realized that it was time for me to leave that one relationship. Like we grew together, but we grew apart at the same time. So at that point, yes, I found like, you know, other people or I found people who had like an interest in me, right? So they showed like affection, they showed, um, they gave me the, the love that I needed, right? And then I found my college boyfriend. So even then, when I found him, I was not still, I was not loving myself. I just still didn't know what love, self-love was, right? So I had this baseline of what it should look like in a relationship and like what it shouldn't look like in a relationship, like just kind of comparing from the last relationship, but it, but when I started the new one, it was still being based off of the last relationship. So I didn't have time to fully grasp like what was going on and grasp that like, I don't, I don't need someone, right? Like you don't need to be with someone to feel loved because you can show yourself that. 
So that relationship came to a halt, you know, four years after the relationship had started. And it just, that, the two relationships in itself like had me learn and grow from them. And I can't stress enough how much like past relationships or even friendships or anything that as bad that has happened to you can help you in the long run and is there for you in the long run. So, you know, when something bad happens to you and you're like, why am I cursed? Like, why is this happening to me? What is the world thinking of me right now? Like, why are you doing this to me? Um, and it's happening for you for like a good reason. Like those things happened for me to grow, for me to learn to love myself. And it wasn't until after those relationships where I finally had time to, to myself, time to reflect, time to figure out what I wanted, time to figure out what type of relationship that I wanted, time to figure out like where I wanted to be in life that I learned to love myself. Even starting the relationship with my fiance, um, it's like I was still learning so I want to stress that you can still learn to love yourself when you're with someone. I, I had just ended the relationship with my college boyfriend and then kind of like, you know, mingled a little with like people, not necessarily like just kind of chatting and talking about like what I want in a relationship or like what I want to see in someone or even what I want to see in myself, you know, like how someone brings like how someone motivates me, how someone like can pick me up when I'm feeling down or even like when I'm feeling up, like just lifts me higher. You know what I mean? Like it's just, who do I want to be with? And so then when I found Connor and we started dating and we started talking and then I realized like, this is who I really want to be with. Like this is who I want to be with forever. This is who I've been waiting for essentially, you know, like you just, You've been through the past relationships, but then you find that one person who is you're really truly supposed to be meant with. And that's what happened. And I'm still learning about self-love, even now. So when I first met Connor, I was 26, I think. I think 26, maybe almost 27. I don't remember, but like, you know, I met him and then obviously like the honeymoon phase and we were long distance so we kind of had to um we kind of had to like learn a lot in a short period of time which also helps with our relationship as well because being in a long term or being in a long distance relationship is super hard i don't know if you guys like know or have been through it but it can be really hard. So for the first year we were long distance. He was in North Carolina, I was in New Hampshire. And then I moved down to North Carolina. So that kind of like, it was just a year, but even still like he's in the military. So there's always gonna be times where he's not around. Um, but it's nice because we, yes, we had like our little honeymoon phase, but it was like kind of more serious than the other relationships. Whereas like, well, my high school boyfriend, like obviously we knew each other from school. Um, and then my college boyfriend, like we just, I think what happened was we just like filled the void with school and like school work that we didn't really get to honestly know each other. As weird as that sounds because we were together for four years. But I feel like there was just like, just like a miscommunication going on there. So with Connor, like we were always talking, we're always talking, we're always on the phone. Like we always like, yes, talked about our day, but then we also talked about like our relationship and how we felt about it and where we wanted to go and where and what we need, wanted to do and you know, all of that stuff. And that's really, really important in a relationship. So that is that, but long story short about my relationships, um, learning to love yourself is the number one thing so like i mentioned when i was first in that in in that in between stage of being single and then finding connor i 
was alone for the majority of the time. Like I had my best friend with me, she helped me out through everything, um, but I had to figure it out for myself. So I had to go through all the, the different phases of like, like the hate and the um, regret. And then it's like, you don't regret it. And then you kind of have to like grow from that. So you go through all of these different phases and then that leads you to finding yourself. So I found myself, but it wasn't like 100% when I found Connor. So um, like I mentioned, you can still find yourself with someone else and I'm making a blog post on this so if you want to read all about that um, it should be up this week sometime maybe after this video it'll be up I'm not sure yet I'll figure it out but if it is up when this video is live I will share it there but um yeah so I guess like what self-love to me is that essentially you when you're with someone else you put that person first you put like all of their needs first you do everything that you can to make that other person happy right like that's what you do in a relationship so when you're in a relationship with yourself you have to make sure that you put yourself first it's like the same thing like that like you have to find yourself you have to show yourself love first because if you don't, then you're just gonna get all mixed up in emotions with someone else and it might end up good, it might not. So um, with me personally, it did not work out very well. And I had to find myself before I could start a, a relationship with someone else. So I had to make sure that whatever I was doing for me was what I needed. And I think that is very, very important. And I know I kind of went on a tangent and I honestly don't know if it makes sense. So hopefully it does. Cause I'm, I'm really trying to be more um, authentic and real with you guys and not have scripts. So I'm just trying to like chat it out with you guys and figure it out as I go. Um, but this video is now 18 minutes long. So I'm gonna let you guys go and hopefully this makes sense. So if you enjoyed this type of video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, I promise I'm not gonna make all videos about love. I just thought it was kind of cool that, you know, now I'm engaged and I can, I don't know, like it just, it just felt right, okay? The world just needed me to say this. So, hope you have a great day. If you wanna be shouted out on my next video, be sure to comment below. And I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.